Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week, and I've got an epic toy hunt for you guys today. I found some really good stuff at the thrift store today, but before we jump into that, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the deal of a lifetime. So if you're new to the channel, recently I purchased one of my subscribers' entire childhood collection. Like these are literally all the toys that he had from when he was a kid back in the 80s. And there is some really amazing things in this collection, including a G.I. Joe USS flag. There is the Defiant, the space shuttle, the whole setup. Uh, there is a Cobra Terror drone, a ton of vehicles like the Night Raven, and uh, just so just so much stuff, so much stuff. Well, the update on that is I've got Patrick, that's his name, he's paid in full, and tomorrow morning, Saturday, January 19th, he is coming by the house at 8 a.m. and delivering the goods. So I'm gonna have some updated video for you guys coming next week on that whole situation. I do have a buyer for the flag and the Defiant, and uh, that is gonna allow me to purchase my grails, the grail goals that I had this year, which I wanted to get the uh, Clash of the Titans Kraken and the Shogun Godzilla that I once had as a child. It was like one of my favorite toys and I've been wanting one of those for so long and I'm finally gonna be able to get all of that. So I am really excited about all of that. So again, I will give you some updates, uh, some new video this week when Patrick comes by here tomorrow, I'm gonna film him dropping it off and we're gonna actually dive deeper into all of the bins. I mean, he had Silver Hawks, GI Joes, uh, I'm trying to think what else was in there. He had Kiss figures, Spawn. Like there was just so much stuff. It was freaking awesome. So, but in the meantime, we got some thrifting to do. It's five thrift store Friday, baby. And we're going to be hitting up at least five thrift stores today in search of vintage toys. So again, if you're new to the channel, I hunt for vintage toys and thrift stores. That's kind of my gig. And uh, if you like thrift stores and you like vintage toys, you'll probably like my channel. So I would invite you to hit that subscribe button. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's get rolling. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, gang. It's another Friday. Let's see what kind of goodies they got. Oh, look at this old cash register. Hey. It's a Daisy Duke Jeep. It's not, but that'd be cool if it was. We got a bunch of baggies sitting here on the shelf. We got any good ones in here? There's some uh, oh, Scooby-Doo in the gang. I've got all those already, though. Let's see. We got some Rubik's Cube. Yeah, nothing. It's like maybe some turtle nunchucks. That's cool. Maybe goes uh, to those shells. You know those uh, turtle shells? I bet it does. Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about this. I might pick that up. Oh, we got a Kylo Ren Funko Pop. Number 308. That's my lucky number, by the way. That was my employee number at J.C. Penney's when I worked there as a shoe salesman. Yes, I was Al Bundy. But uh, my employee number was 308, and I see that number all the time. Throughout my entire life, 308 constantly appears. It's kind of neat. Oh, wow, nobody bought this little Spider-Man since the last time I was here. What is this thing? Holy cow. <sighs> Some sort of remote control. That thing is huge. It's heavy, too. Oh, look at this. Vintage Care Bears. Oh, I actually have this complete, but I am going to pick this one up too. This one is incomplete. But yeah, I can't pass that up. Maybe there'll, be, maybe there'll be some Care Bears in the bags. There's Wheel of Fortune. And it looks... <laughs> we got a... King Kong, got him already. Don't need another one, but he sure is neat. What's this down here? 
There's a Simon game. That's a newer one, though. Oh, look at that. It's a vintage Chewbacca. Nice. All right, guys, we're seeing signs of vintage toys. Maybe we'll find some more. Hey, it's Woody and Jesse. Uh, my buddy Travis will probably dig this. I'll pick this up for him. And we got a Funko. Oh, look at that. Terminator. What else do we got? Got some uh, Dragon Ball. And what's this? I don't know who, but this is some like little knockoff figures. Hmm. There's some more Dragon Ball. Maybe some more. Uh, I don't know what that is actually. Oh, there's a Spider Man. The Power Ranger. Oh, that's uh, these are like Jurassic Park figures. What is this guy? I don't know who he is, but he's kind of neat looking. We've got a Green Lantern. And there's some vintage Charlie Brown, Mickey D's toys. Those are fun. Looks like we got some more Power Rangers in there. Well, here's a box of stuff, all kinds of baggies in here. Oh, look at this thing. What is that? It's got like a, it's like a dinosaur egg or something. Some little people. I guess I'll just go ahead and put the box on the ground here and pull all these out and see what we got down in here. There's a Batman. Maybe those Care Bears will be in here. Or maybe there's no Care Bears at all, you know? We don't know. Let's see what we got down here at the bottom. A bag full of stuff, action figures. I don't know who they are though. Yeah, I think that's about it. I don't think there's a whole lot in here actually. Whoa, look at this thing. Holy cow, that is awesome. Oh, that would go perfect for my 375 Indiana Jones. It even has the saddle. Yeah, that is badass. Check it out. Fievel from an American Tale. That is awesome. We got a Q-Fig of Rocket and Groot. And we got the Lone Ranger. All right, I think I'll pick that up. It's got three classic episodes. Well, I think I'm gonna pick this one up too. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. It's got Robert Redford and Paul Newman. Never seen it. Joe Pesci and Danny Glover and Gone Fishing. Never seen that either. I think I'll pick that up too. Look at this cart full of vintage goodies. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on the jazz. Oh, yeah. This is an awesome start to Five Thrift Store Friday. Oh yeah, he's got a big fat sack upon his back. I was just telling her, I was like, now I gotta, now I gotta sneak this into the house and Nicole doesn't see it. And she goes, well, just uh, tell her you're taking out the garbage. Cause that's what she gave me. She gave me like a big garbage bag. <laughs> like, yeah, but you gotta take the garbage out, not in, you know? All right, guys, man. This is awesome. Man, Big Texas Thrift really delivered the goods today. Let's do a little show and tell. Check out this haul from Big Texas Thrift. Man, we ended up with quite a few vintage toys, mostly from the 90s. I think they're actually all from the 90s. So I ended up picking up uh, several bags that had these vintage Power Rangers figures in them. I don't even know their names.
times, but I know that my friend Travis, who's a really good friend of mine from Oklahoma, he's like real big into the vintage Power Rangers. So I picked those up for him. We've been kind of, me and Travis, we've been doing this uh, kind of like a, like a switch off sort of thing. Like if I find Power Ranger stuff, I send it to him. And if he finds like other vintage stuff, he sends it to me. Like he just recently found some Transformers Pretenders that he picked up for like three or four bucks a piece or something like that. And uh, he's gonna be mailing those off to me here pretty soon. So I'm gonna get these in the mail to Travis. I also got this guy, like I know this uh, UFO looking dude is a Power Ranger, but I don't know his name. I don't know this guy's name either, although I know he's like a Power Ranger. And then we've got like this little alien figure, which is really cool. And then check out the Dragon Ball guys, man. Pretty awesome. I love those vibrant colors. I did get some uh, Marvel figures as well. Um, I don't know if Aquaman is Marvel or DC. I, I think he's DC, right? So we've got uh, Jason Samoa as uh, Aquaman back there. And then we've got uh, Green Lantern. Now he is missing a hand, but I do think I've got some extra hands laying around that I might be able to uh, restore that. I got this 2018 Spider-Man, which I think is really awesome as well. And then we got some vintage Star Wars in the house, baby. That is the, that's the only one that's actually from the 1980s. So we got this vintage Chewbacca, which I already have one of him, but like, you know, yeah, you, 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 you can't go wrong with having doubles or triples or quadruples of vintage Star Wars. So I'm uh, just gonna probably keep him in the collection for right now. I got this guy, I'm not exactly sure who he is. And then check out the Terminator. Oh man, isn't that awesome? And like his eyes, let me see if I can grab him here without knocking anybody over. Let's uh, kind of just take a look here, whoops. Uh, let's see, is it gonna do it? His eyes today, when I had him in the car, when I, when the sunlight hit his eyes, they like, they lit up, they like glue, uh, glue, glowed bright red so but man i think he is awesome he's gonna look great with my terminator collection so i got a little uh, collection of terminator stuff and then this right here oh there they go oh they're just about to fall over i did end up with this other more modern chewbacca as well but check this out i got this big bull elephant made by chat may and it goes perfect with my indiana jones figures which is exactly why I wanted it, but how awesome is this haul, guys? Like, this is so cool. Like, uh, you know, oh, and then, uh, yeah, and actually, I was gonna, I almost forgot to show you the Care Bear setup, but I'll show that to you in a second. But when I saw the, the Care Bear Carolot case, I was like, well, you know, of course, I was like, well, maybe there's some Care Bears in the bags. Well, there weren't any Care Bears, but there were lots of other vintage toys. I also got the Lone Ranger VHS, the Gone Fishing with Joe Pesci and Danny Glover, and then Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. So let's take a look at that Care Bears Care Lot case. Check these out. These things are awesome. So I've got two of these now, and I thought this case, this is the case I just found today. I thought it was a different version than this one. Uh, but it's not, it's actually the same one. For some reason, I it just looked different in the store when I was checking it out. So here are some of the Care Bears that, um, some of these I actually found in the thrift store, like these ones over here, and then these ones over here, I actually purchased this from my dad. So my mom's friend, Barb, uh, her daughter is like close to my age, she's in her 40s, but uh, Barb kept some of her daughter's childhood collection and uh, to her toys and gifted this to my dad to sell on eBay because uh, she knows my dad sells stuff on eBay. And she said, Dwayne, you know, maybe you can make a little money off of it. So my dad had this listed in his eBay store and I was like, dad, I really want that. And he's like, all right, then buy it. So like, I ended up buying this from my dad. So I've got this playset over here. This is the original one. As you can see, it's got the sun and it's got the little extra accessories and stuff like that. These all like pop off. And you can see, this is the one I found in the store. It's definitely missing some pieces, but uh, I think they look really awesome. 
together like that. So I'm probably gonna hold on to both of them for just a little while. I don't know, I might end up selling one of them at some point or maybe doing a trade with somebody. But for right now, I'm gonna keep them. But yeah, these, uh, I mean, this is 1983, folks. I mean, how freaking cool is that? You know, I wasn't like, I mean, I really wasn't like super into Care Bears um, when I was a kid. I did enjoy the cartoons when they were on TV. Um, but didn't really collect. I think the only Care Bear I had was like the Grump Grumpy. Is that his name? Or Grouchy? No, Grumpy? Grumpy Bear? I forget. The the one that's uh, always, uh, you know, in a bad mood. <laughs> so that was the one, the one Care Bear I think I had as a kid. But yeah, they look pretty cool. Holy crap. I almost forgot. I also got this plush of Fievel from American Tale. I remember going to see this movie with my dad and my brother in the theater when I was a kid. Such a great movie. I actually have it on VHS, but haven't watched it yet. And the last time I saw that movie was when I was a kid in the 80s. So I thought that was really cool to come across this, considering there was one that I uh, that was in uh, at Thrift City in a video from about a year ago that I missed and my subscribers are like, oh, you missed the five hole. So I finally got one. How cool is that? This toy hunt is off to an amazing start. So even if we don't find anything else the rest of the day, I am a happy camper. But we got some more thrift stores to hit up. Let's head off to the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Can you top Texas Thrift? I think you can. I think you got it in your heart. Hopefully you got some vintage toys for you, boy. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. Here we go. Is there anything? It doesn't look like it. I think we're gonna get busted here. There's a bunch of games. What's this? Race for the highest score. Oh, it's a board game, Monopoly. What's this? The Dragon Prince. That's oh, another board game. Oh, it looks fun. I'm not gonna get it, but it does look fun. Here's a Harry Potter wizard chess set. Hmm. Man, they want $16 for that? That's crazy. Well, we got busted, but that's okay. We still got a lot more thrift stores to hit up. Like, I mean, we're gonna hit up uh, Thrift Giant, a couple of Thrift Giants, a couple more Goody Wheels, Thrift City. Like we've got, we got more hunting to do. So let's head next door to Thrift Giant and see if we can find something over there. Well, it definitely looks like they've stocked up their shelves since the last time I was here. But what's this? Oh, it's a Peter Parker. But uh, I don't know if there's a whole lot on here I want, but I might want this. Let me uh, see if I can put a shirt back on. All right, well, I got a shirt back on, but it doesn't really snap. It looks like the, uh, the little button snap is busted off of it, and he doesn't have his mask. I'm going to look him up to see if he's worth anything, and then I'm going to look around to see if maybe I can find his mask somewhere. If I can't find it, I'll probably just pass on it. Or if he's, I mean, if he's worth money, I'll pick him up, but we'll see. Okay, so I just looked him up and I was looking at the markings here on the back here. Let's see if I can pull this down. It's uh, made by Mattel. It's from 1980, 1983, I think. 1988. It's either 88 or 83. I tried looking him up. But I can't find them, so I don't know if someone just put a Spider-Man outfit on a like a Ken doll from Barbie, because didn't Mattel make Barbie? Yeah, I'm not real sure. Maybe I should get them just to be on the safe side. But I don't even see a price on them, so they probably won't even sell them to me. The more I'm looking at this, the more I'm thinking someone put a Spider-Man outfit on a Barbie doll. Because look at this. This appears to be ripped. It's like the outfit was too small for the 
for the figure here. So the the doll is from 1988, but I don't think the outfit goes with the doll. So I'm just gonna leave it here. This little hanger has been here for a couple of weeks. I thought it would make a cool diorama piece. I'm just not interested in it. I guess no one else is either. What's this over here? But, uh, it's like some sort of remote control car. Oh, Star Command. Isn't that for like Buzz Lightyear? I think so. Too bad I couldn't find a little more information on that Spider-Man. Again, I think it's a Barbie. I think. I don't know. You know, maybe I made a mistake leaving them on the shelf, but I think it was a Barbie with a Spider-Man outfit. But like, as you could tell, like, you know, th that figure, his shoulders were too broad, too wide, which I think caused the outfit to rip. So he didn't have his mask either. And, you know, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. So I left it behind. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I didn't. But you know, I'm sure somebody will come along and find that and it'll make them really happy. So let's head off to another Goody Will. All right, my friends. We are here, Goody Will number two. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Since we got busted at the last Goody Will and busted at Thrift Giant, maybe we'll get lucky in here. Let's check it out. What do we got here? A baseball card game. Numbers on the diamond. All right, how about over here on these shelves? Anything new? I know they've been having more of these bags. Oh, there's a Fisher Price Adventure person. But, oh, there's a couple of them in there, actually. I don't want to buy that whole bag. What do they want for that? Four bucks. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. Actually, no. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm probably gonna get, I'm gonna go ahead and get those Fisher Price Adventure people. Four dollars, two bucks a piece. That's not a bad deal for them, right? Picture. Picture. Let's see, anything else? Doesn't look like it. Well, it. Looks like we've got some Star Wars Christmas ornaments. So I did end up getting the bag that had the Fisher Price Adventure People in it. Like I, you know, at first I wasn't gonna get it. I was like, I don't want to pay four bucks for that. But you know, that it's two bucks a piece for the figures. So and I didn't have those specific ones in my collection. So I picked them up. Let's do a quick show and tell. So here's the adventure people that I picked up from the Goody Will. I got this guy here. I got the motorcycle. Too bad it didn't say 308. It says 318. If you if you remember from earlier on, 308 is my number. But uh, and I got this guy, and then I got this snake. The snake was in the bag too. I don't know if it's part of the adventure people stuff or not, but. It's kind of cool. So my friend Scott, who's also one of our Goody Will gang members, he just recently gifted me a very large lot of Adventure People. So I'm gonna be doing a, a box opening of that. I'll probably post that video on Sunday and we'll take a look at all that stuff. Plus I had some other Goody Will gang members and other people send me some gifts in the mail. So I'll include those in that unboxing video. So keep an eye out for that. And I wanted to let you know that if you're not an official Goody Will Gang member, you can purchase a t-shirt or purchase a hat and become an official member and get exclusive access to our private Facebook group. There's like 26 people in there right now. It is awesome. I love our group. We have the best gang. I'm connecting with everybody over there on a much, much deeper level. We've got trades going on. People are posting stuff that like they're finding during the week. It's just, it, it is just an amazing group. It's an amazing gang. It's an amazing gang to be part of. So uh, there's a store located just below this video. Get yourself a t-shirt or get yourself a hat and become an official Goody Will gang member. I promise you, I promise it will be worth it. So, all right, off to the next thrift store. All right, let's see if anything else made it out. Here's another elephant. So I have this one and then I just found the other one this morning. And I could have like a whole herd of elephants. 
what do they want for that? $3.99. That's what they wanted over at the other store. The the one, you know, the one with the saddle is the one I got this morning. All right, I'll think about that. I might get a third one. I'll look at these uh Barbie collector pack. It's astronaut Barbie. Baseball Barbie, soccer Barbie, ballerina Barbie, and rock star Barbie. And we've got Doc Ock. He's missing his tentacles. Always missing his tentacles when I see him in that 12-inch form. And then we've got Woody. Little Hello Kitty. And we got some Jurassic Park Jeeps. These are newer ones, so. Oh, there's a Groot. We got a Batman bunch of marvel here speaking of jurassic here's some jurassic figures in this bag and we got this dino here dang look at the size of this guy holy cow man that sucker is big we got a Mosasaurus. And then we got a box of stuff over here. And the vintage goodies. Let's take a look. There's a few other boxes too. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Well, there's a... Oh, that's a newer one. That's a new TMNT. Oh, that's the one with the skateboard. I've seen those at Walmart. Yeah, there ain't nothing in there. There's a Spider-Man skateboard. Yeah, nothing in those boxes either. Well, we got busted again. Now we did have some opportunities there, especially with those big boxes. Man, I'll tell you what, th those boxes, when I first started buying those boxes, they were like 30 bucks, like $29.95 or something. Now they charge like 50, 60, $70 sometimes for those boxes. But unfortunately there was nothing in there for me. So I'm sure somebody will come along and buy those boxes and probably flip them and make a little money off them. But you know, in my opinion, it's just filled with junk. So, all right, let's head off to Thrift Shitty, baby. All right, let's see. What do we got on these shelves? What's this back here? Oh, nothing. This looks like a... Oh yeah, it's an old baseball. I think I saw Jay Philly Retro found this recently at one of his thrift stores. The same thing. Huh. Front Porch Classics. That's oh, from 2014. Interesting. There's a lightsaber. Oh, we got a Halo vehicle. That's pretty cool. Not for me though. I just uh, don't need anything like that. I should message my buddy Clutch and see if he wants it. I've picked up a couple of these in the past and he's repainted them to turn them into Cobra vehicles. You know, Cobra from G.I. Joe. So I'll message him and see if he wants this. Well, just messaged Clutch and uh, he said he'll pass on it. So I'm gonna put it back on the shelf. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. There's a PS4 game, Naruto Shippuden, and another one called Destiny. I think I'm gonna check those out. I might get those. So I did pick up those two PS4 games. I looked at the gameplay on YouTube, went over there and just typed it in and watched a little gameplay. And I was like, hey, these games look fun they look really cool so I did pick those up but that was the only thing we got out of there which I'm actually kind of happy about because normally at thrift city um excuse me thrift shitty and it's I call it thrift shitty for a reason because I normally don't have very good stuff over there at that location um but uh you know, they, they finally had something that I could pick up. So that, that made me happy. All right, guys, I'm going to start heading back towards the house, but there is another thrift giant along the way. So let's stop there and see if we can find something. 
All right, what do we got? What do we got on the shelves? Oh, look at this. It's just a rack of bones. It's Wiley Coyote, super genius. Oh, check him out. This dude's actually been here for quite a while, like two, three weeks maybe. Wow, look at all the boxes. Maybe we'll find some vintage toys, possibly. Nothing in that one. How about this one? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Just uh, looks like there's a bunch of Barbies and stuff in this one. Yeah, nothing in there either. Got two boxes left. Looks like there's like a Hulk. Oh, one of my Goody Will gang members just found this exact Hulk. He's got like these beads, like a necklace on. That's funny. I'd never seen one before. He posted it in our group. And I was like, are those beads on his neck? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> it's like he's ready for a luau or something. All right. And how about this one? Yeah, looks like there's gonna be jack squat in this one too. Well, that was a big round of busts. There is this box, but it's so dark you can't see in it. I don't think there's really anything in there. I can see like some littlest pet shop stuff or stuff or something. Wow, this thrift giant had way more boxes than the last thrift giant. So, but again, unfortunately, just nothing in there for us. So, all right, we got one more stop. We're gonna go hit up another goody wheel. Maybe, just maybe we can finish strong for the day. All right, gang, last stop of the day. Goody wheel number three. What you got for me today, goody wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully we can finish strong in here. It's been a good day. Got a gauntlet, but it's missing one of the jewels. Seen a few of these guys today. Looks like a Power Rangers ATV. What's this? Bumblebee. DC Superhero Girls. Well, I'm not really seeing anything, guys. Busted again. So, but hey, you know what? We had a really good day. So the very first store that we went to, Big Texas Thrift, we ended up with quite a few vintage toys. And like I said at the beginning of the video, even if I didn't find anything else, anywhere although we did find some fisher price adventure people but if i didn't find anything else i was going to be a happy camper and i am a happy camper so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you if you did do me a favor smash the like button and if you want to watch more videos just like this check out this next video